Hey guys, Shark here from Shark e Check It. In today's video, I want to quickly talk about the new and improved one handed mode for One UI 3.0. Now, right here, I have a One UI 3.0 Samsung Galaxy Note 20, and right over here, I have a One UI 2.5 Note 20, Note 20 Ultra. So, let me show you what the one handed mode is just in case you're not aware. So, I have it mine set up so it activates when I triple tap on the home button. And basically, it makes the phone much smaller, so it is easier to use with one hand. In fact, with one finger. This is your whole screen now. This is your whole phone, completely minimized to the side of the screen, so you can use it with just one finger. And of course, it is also resizable, so you can find the right fit for your specific finger size. So that's One UI 2.5, and we do have some uh, improvements to the one-handed mode, on One UI 3.0, let me show you what they are. So on One UI 3.0, I set it up so I just use this swipe down gesture, which activates the one-handed mode. But you can already see the difference. In the One UI 2.5 and earlier, we do have this black background, as you can see. And the usable area is this area, which is your entire phone. With this one, we don't have the black background. What it does is it retains the wallpaper in the background but blurs it out, so it just gives you a better looking overall style. And of course, you can resize it, okay, just like you can do it over here, so you find the right fit. And of course, you can also justify these to the left or right if you so desire. But the other thing you can do with One UI 3.0 is you can actually grab this thing and put it to, to a different location, as you can see. So I can have it on the top, on the bottom, any way I please, whatever is convenient for my specific needs. And again, this is the entire phone right here, which is absolutely crazy. And of course, in both instances, if you want to go back into the home screen to the full screen, you tap over here and here you tap right here. The only thing right here that I would like to see over here is we have a little message here that says tap the black area to go back to the full screen. They can have that somewhere here, perhaps for people that are new to the uh, this this setting. By the way, if you want an amazing wallpaper for your Samsung Galaxy smartphone, let me show you which one I'm talking about. Okay, right over here. I'm going to double tap, and we have this beautiful, gorgeous, technical video wallpaper in the background. If you want this live video wallpaper, simply click the link down below. It's going to take you to my website. You want to scroll down just a little bit right over here and click the link under wallpaper number two. It will take you to the store and you'll be able to download this for free. Stunning wallpaper, just in case you're interested, for the lock screen. But other than that, this looks much better, and I like the fact you can move it up and down as you please, so you can get the perfect fit. Now, one more thing, when I tap on settings over here, it goes into the settings. When I tap settings over here, it also goes into the settings, and from here, you can pick different options. Now, as you can see, on One UI 3.0, we have less of an information right here. When I'm over here in the one-handed mode menu, I have a little bit more information. So hopefully they'll add these animations from One UI 2.5 to One UI 3.0, just so it is easier to understand exactly what these are. So that is the gesture, okay? And then that's the triple tap, or double tap actually, all right? So that's it, but absolutely fantastic little feature. All right, so stay tuned for more One UI 3.0 videos. We have a whole chunk of these coming very soon, especially with the official release very close by. All right, guys, any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below for now. Have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.